macroscopic level, my lab focuses on how we can engineer probiotics to colonize the large intestine, um, sense post-health status, and secrete therapeutics in response. Um, this is a current focus area of my lab. The broader problem that we're trying to solve is that in the past, engineered microbes have been uh, utilized in these very well-controlled environments, like a bioreactor or a shake flask. And right now, what we're trying to do is take that knowledge of um, how we can engineer microbes and take it into the real world, where the environments are a lot more complex and a lot less well-defined. Things like the gut is a, is a prime example, but we're also thinking about locations like the roots of plants, um, the guts of animals, and even the skin on your body. And um, I think that there's a lot of applications for programmable engineered probiotics that can take the nutrients that exist in the environment that they're delivered to and synthesize a value-added product in that environment uh, based on some sensing logic. My research impacts several broad areas. Right now, our lab is focused on healthcare because of its extreme importance to society. The idea that you can take an engineered microbe, deliver it to a location, and have it utilize those nutrients and synthesize them for a therapeutic in response. Um, but in the future, we hope to expand beyond the human body into agricultural animals and improving their um, productivity and improving the rate at which they can convert their feed into to biomass, basically. We're also interested in, in agricultural plants, meaning we engineer microbes that impact their disease resistance and susceptibility to various environmental stressors like drought or, um, or salinity in their environment. From a chemical engineering perspective, we sit at the interface between the traditional synthetic biology and a more basic biology, clinically focused lab. Uh, meaning that we do all of the standard things that a synthetic biology lab would do, but we take those products that we make and we test them in animal models. So there's a lot of training that my students get in terms of how to operate and set up an animal model as well as analyze the data that comes out of those animal models. This can include genomic and transcriptomic data. I think that the, the, these sort of big data is a little bit new to a lot of chemical engineers, and what I do as a PI is try to help them and sort of wrap their, their minds around that, that data set and then introduce them to computational tools and that will allow them to make the best use of that information.